Take a chance before it's gone Throw me a rope and string me along I'm nothing without you and This man is nothing without you I voted for the Liberal Democrats at the last election and I've been a Lib Dem supporter for a long time now. Uh, if you'd have told me five years ago that I'd be supporting a government with a Conservative Prime Minister, I wouldn't have believed you. But you know what? I've been really positively impressed by what I've seen so far. It feels, it feels different to before. It feels like a new politics. It feels, it feels grown up. Now, I can see why there are Lib Dems out there who are uncertain about what they've seen so far. I know it's been a difficult year. It's been all I can do just to keep you near. I, I didn't like the increase in VAT in last week's budget. It's a tax that hits the poorest hardest and goes against what Liberal Democrats generally stand for, especially when we campaigned against it in the election. But let's look at the bigger picture. We have to pay off the deficit or the country faces financial ruin. Spending cuts and tax rises were going to happen whoever came to power. And you know what? I'm glad the Liberal Democrats are an influential part of a coalition government rather than in opposition, and we have a weak minority government. Look at what we did get out of the budget. Nearly a million of the lowest paid workers are taken out of income tax altogether. And capital gains tax has risen, albeit slightly, for the richest. These are all steps towards long-standing Lib Dem commitments. Take a chance on us Throw your arm round love Let it pull you up for tonight So I say to Lib Dem supporters and uneasy Lib Dem MPs, hold your nerve. The public didn't vote for one party, the public voted in a coalition. And I think you owe it to the public to make this project work. At the heart of every Lib Dem manifesto, is the idea of voting reform and PR. And I think it would be a terrible irony if at this moment the Lib Dems buckled because they weren't prepared to compromise. But stepping away from party alliances for a moment, I think the coalition may bring bigger rewards. Before the election, I had grown disillusioned with politics. I was tired with the bickering, the point scoring, the party politics that dominated Westminster, that may make good telly, but is not what you want to see from the people who are supposed to be running the country. Look what we've done. Look how far we've come. Well, I sing these songs about you. What has been most gratifying and surprising with the coalition is to see politicians working together and behaving responsibly and openly and accountably and, and almost like grown-ups with proper jobs. Maybe one thing that the coalition government will do is bring a restoration of trust and respect back to our politicians and political systems. Maybe.